How many of you have heard of a man named Simon Sinek? Hmm. Only one. Simon Sinek describes himself as naturally shy. He does not like public speaking. <laughs> However, he's a best-selling author and he's an inspirational speaker. He says that his success is not due to being at the right place at the right time or just being lucky, dumb luck. He says that his success is due to trial and error, facing fears and erasing fears, and tireless practice both on and off the stage. Simon Sinek has one of the most popular TED Talks with over 25 million views. Wow. Through Entrepreneur Magazine, they interviewed Simon, and he gave us seven secrets to public speaking, which may help all of us on our public speaking journey. I offer you these today. Number one, don't talk right away. <coughs> People who talk quickly right away do so through nervousness. Instead, Simon Sinek suggests that you quietly walk on stage, take a deep breath, find your place, and speak. Number two, show up to give, not to take. <laughs> Speakers today who show up and want to sell us something, their latest book, they want us to follow them on social media, or they just want us to like them. Those are the takers. And audience members figure that out right away, and they disengage. Instead, be a speaker who gives something to your audience. Give them value. Give them entertainment, inspiration, or information. Number three, make eye contact with your audience members one by one. <laughs> Don't just scan the audience. Speak to your audience members and then speak to another audience member. Make your point and move on to another audience member. Number four, speak unusually slowly. <laughs> <laughs> Simon Sinek says that with public speaking you cannot speak too slow. Take your time. People who speak quickly do so out of nervousness. Think about what you're going to say and say it. Audience members will hang on to your every word. Number five, ignore the naysayers. People who are writing in their book, people who, <laughs> people who are using their cell phones or sleeping or not saying no or furrowing their brow or arms crossed, ignore those people. Instead, Talk to people who are visually engaged. Talk to people who are making eye contact to you and who are agreeing with what you're saying. Ignore the naysayers. It will give you more confidence and it will make your speech better. Number six, turn your nervousness into excitement. <laughs> <laughs> you're not nervous, you're just excited. You've just got on a roller coaster. The, the symptoms of nervousness, a beating heart, clammy hands, <clears throat> tight nerves, those are very obvious to your audience. But instead of 
doing that, pretend it's not just nervousness, it's excitement. I'm up here and I'm talking to you and I'm happy and it's exciting. Number seven. Number seven. <laughs> Say thank you when you're done. Simon Sinek says that audience members are here. You're taking their time, you're giving them something, you need to be grateful. He ends every speech with thank you. They're giving you, you they've given you the, your time, they've given you applause, and you need to be grateful. Those are the seven secrets that Simon Sinek gives us for public speaking to inspire, inform, and entertain your audience. I hope these help you on your journey to public speaking. Thank you. Woohoo!